Hi, my name is Chris Fox. I came into rehab after having a cardiac arrest. They put me in a um, medical coma for, it was about two weeks. During that two weeks, I got COVID. So they sent me to Indianapolis, had to wait for that to clear up. And then they put a defibrillator in, which keeps me alive now. I had to basically learn to walk again. I took care of Chris uh, when she came to us uh, from uh, Franciscan Indy and from there where she was stabilized and sent her back to us with uh, what we call critical illness myopathy which just makes um, weaker, it just um, makes the muscles weak just uh, by the COVID infection inflammation and she also had what we call encephalopathy like a mild confusion which is reversible. Dr. Pradeep said that I would be here for three weeks. After the exam and uh, talking to her and understanding her um, home situation and kind of help she has at home, um, I told her that she will require at least uh, 10 to 14 days to get to a safe level where she can go home independently. I told him, no, I'll be out of here for my birthday, which was eight days away. She had her target, to go home before birthday and she did it. The hardest part of all of it was the steps. I had an awful time going up and down those steps. That was hard. Chris, the, uh, the, the most important thing was she had to do some stairs um, and that became a challenge, you know. Uh, she, she got better and everything except doing that stairs. We kind of uh, challenged her or motivated her. Rehab staff was outstanding. We started out very slow and I kept wanting to go up and down the steps and they said, we'll get to that. And they showed me how to get in and out of a car. That was truly hard as well. You'd be surprised. They are an outstanding bunch of people. And I feel very fortunate to have ended up here. I've been painting for seven years. When I got home and I did start painting, at first my hands would shake and I just couldn't do a lot of, re of painting when I went home. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, I have got to do something for these people. And when I do something for somebody, it's usually a painting. So I decided to paint them a picture with a message, a sign, and then I had to come up with something to put on there, you know, one day at a time, you can do this. And the more I thought about it, the more I decided I need to put on there one step, one step at a time. So I decided to do the painting with one step at a time on a sign where it's plenty visible and a mountain in the background and a, an old church in the background because without God's, without God's help, I wouldn't be here. As part of a rehab program, we customize every therapy for every patient and we identify what's their passion while talking to them. And I found Chris uh, to be really passionate about her paintings uh, when she wanted to do something to the unit and to motivate other patients. And that's when she came up with a very thoughtful picture and donated it to motivate other patients who have challenges doing the stairs. Every time I see uh, Chris's picture in the gym, it reminds me of Chris's uh, hard work and uh, motivation, desire to overcome her deficit. She got uh, home much earlier. So from day one, I knew I was going to achieve it. I mean, I'd already had three cardiac arrests and made it through that, so the rest of it was a breeze. The reason I did the painting was because I appreciated everyone here so much, and it's my way of thanking them for the good health and the recovery and the send home.